thousands of people across the state are Gila bound this week for Mary Monarch. And all that traveling creates a risk to native forests. Our Casey Lund explains. Yeah, we're talking about rapid Ohia death. It's a concern with so many more local families traveling this week and into the weekend for Mary Monarch. The State Department of Agriculture wants competitors and fans to do their part to stop the spread of the disease. That fungal plant disease has already killed an estimated 1 million Ohia trees on Hawaii Island alone. That's where it's most pervasive. Just yesterday, though, we learned the disease is also spreading to previously uninfected forests here on Oahu when DLNR reported a 40-foot fallen Ohia tree tested positive in the Waianae mountain range. Quarantine restrictions are in place on transport of any Ohia plants and plant parts. That's important. That includes flowers, leaves, seeds, stems, twigs, cuttings, untreated wood, logs, and mulch, as well as green waste. Agricultural inspectors will be at the Hilo and Kona airports to collect any of that material. It's then respectfully returned to the native forest on Hawaii Island. People um, getting access to information and educating themselves and then educating others is really the best way to ensure that the disease doesn't go across, spread across the state. Getting that information and understanding what you can do yourself to, to help prevent the spread is really the critical uh, component to ensure it doesn't spread across the state. It's important to follow those quarantine laws, not only for the health of our force, of course, but breaking those restrictions also come with some consequences. You could be charged with a misdemeanor and fined between 100 or even up to $10,000 for a first offense. Those fines and possible jail time increase from there on a second offense. The Department of Ag says there will be a lot of ways to be careful and responsible when you're traveling this weekend weekend. They have a lot of resources online. You can learn more at our website. Just head to hawaiinewsnow.com and look for this story. Reporting in studio today, I'm Casey Lund. For now, we'll send things back to you. All right. All right thanks, Casey. The state health